The following material may not be suitable for small children, some adults, a few senior citizens, many farm animals, and most household appliances. Flashlight. Where is that coming from, anyway? Three lights. Uh, I have to hold two. Very embarrassing. No money. Uh, Can you tell this is no money? Uh, Tough uh, is too big. I have no shoes. Do I look all right? Uh, Flashlight. Hold tight. This is not called stand-up flashlight. Damn, uh, Jeez. Come up. Why am I here? Sponsor my eyes. Oh, Ow. Geez. Florence Henderson. <laughs> How do you like this blazer? <laughs> Nobody at home is going to get that joke. <laughs> this is Stand Up Spotlight right here. We're about to kick it off. Uh, we're in Pasadena. Pasadena, California. Yeah. Yes, we are. We're at the Ice House, and we got some very funny people here. Yes, we do. We're going to kick the show off uh, right now with a very funny woman who comes from San Francisco originally. She hosts a PBS show called Comedy Tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Carrie Snow. Thank you, Rosie. Yeah. She's thin, but she seems nice. <laughs> Hello, my name is Carrie Snow. Um, of course, my rap name is Cool Mo Bitch. <laughs> I feel great tonight. This is nice. You guys look attractive like you've bathed recently. I love that. I do. I'm wearing my favorite jeans. They're by Gloria Peterbilt. <laughs> My sweater has little dots on I never used to wear black. I started wearing black. I never used to wear black. I fought against it because I thought it was total denial. As far as I'm concerned, a big gal wearing black is like a little kid covering his eyes going, I'm invisible. <laughs> I know these things. So I talked to my family today because obviously I'm a glutton for punishment. Yeah. <laughs> my parents are so bummed out that I'm not married. They really are. In fact, they're going on the love connection for me. Yeah, but I actually had a second date recently. I'm very proud of myself. I really am. I did. And, you know, men don't care what happened on a first date when they talk to their friends. They just want to know, bottom line, ROI, return on investment. Okay? <laughs> With women, we need a lot of information on a first date. We need it in a big strap and hurry. Fax it to me, baby. Okay? <laughs> yeah. You see, this, before the second date, you have to have the first date, and I have to find out if a guy has too much hair for breeding purposes. Okay? <laughs> no. I've been through a lot of hair removal. If I married a guy with too much hair, we'd have to have a live-in electrologist, okay? <laughs> so this is how you find out if a guy has too much hair, and please do it on the first date. Do not wait until you're naked, because then you won't care if he's gentle Ben, all right? <laughs> Ooh, somebody compromised tonight. Okay, so you go out on the date and you smile a lot and you laugh at all their jokes. <laughs> and then you pat them on the back and if it's puffy. <laughs> run. Right. So I, I actually made it to the second date, okay? And the purpose of the date was to go to this man's house and meet his pet and then go out for dinner after. Now. When you meet a man's pet, you have to be really nice. You can't make fun of it. You can't, even if it's one of those horrible dogs with the squished in faces, you can't make jokes about how do you want to put a bicycle pump and blow out its face. You can't do that, ever. So I go to this man's house and I meet his, and he's got a dog, and it's a girl dog, and I'm thinking if the guy knows how to be nice to a girl dog, maybe he'll know how to be nice to a female girl. Obviously, we're grasping at straws. <laughs> And I go to the play, and we're, and we're sitting out on the patio, and we're watching the sunset, and petting the dog, and of course the dog has her face right here the whole time, and I'm smiling, you know. And I keep pushing the dog away, you know, and I smile, and keep pushing the dog away, you know. And after I was like, hey, maybe she'll lead the way. So... <laughs> you guys just became the Mormon Tabernacle Choir, all right? So we're talking, we're having a cocktail, which is really stupid because I don't drink, because I, I just don't. My mother told me if I was going to drink, to drink scotch and to drink like a lady. Of course, she didn't say to slam down five and then go make out with firemen. But, are there any firemen here? How about a guy who's seen a fireman? 
How about a guy who's lit a match? Come on now. <laughs> I love firemen, I do. I live real close to a firehouse. I pay extra. I love that. <laughs> firemen are the cutest. They wear uniforms, they don't carry guns, they know CPR, and they're gone half the time. <laughs> That's a dream date where I come from, I. Eh? So we're sitting there, we're watching the sunset, and we're talking about where we're going to go to dinner, which I didn't really care, because I knew there was food in my future. And, you know, and petting the dog and having a cocktail. And out of absolutely nowhere, this man goes, who wants a spanking? Who wants dinner? Who wants a walk? Who wants a cookie? <laughs> and I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm in love. And the guy looks at me so funny right then. Well, maybe because my eyes had actually rolled back in my head. He looks at me and goes, oh, yeah, spanking dinner, walking cookie, uh, that's her big four. And I said, <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> so that's my dating life. Hey, walk a mile in my brassiere. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much and good night. Records and Curve Records present the best of the greatest on sale now. Rolling, Ike and Tina Turner, on the, the Everly Brothers, Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, the all-time greatest hits of rock and roll, rock around the clock. Bobby Vincent, Sammy Davis Jr., the Candyman, the Isley Brothers, Gladys Knight and the Pips, plus many more greatest hits. Just eight ninety nine compact is four ninety nine cassette now at Tower. Not fair. I have to shampoo and mousse and blow dry. My scalp pays the price. I get tight, itchy, dry scalp. Not dandruff, but dry scalp. But now there's dry scalp shampoo from Head and Shoulders. Helps keep moisture in the scalp. Other shampoos can trip away. Now I can have beautiful hair without dry scalp worries. Try Head and Shoulders dry scalp shampoo and help wipe out dry scalp. Fascinated from the beginning. As a machine, the human body remains a supreme invention. To unlock its potential, we offer Soloflex. Simple and efficient, like the body itself. Which may explain why Soloflex looks less like a machine and more like a work of art. From Billy Joel to Billy Joel, VH1, the greatest hits of music video. Flash. They look at you. And the nurse goes, I don't know, maybe it's Farron. You know, I don't know. Could have happened. Oh, we're back. Oh, hi. Oh, show. We have a TV show to do. What a surprise. <laughs> So it's nice to be here in California. I like it here. You know, my family, my family's still in New York. My dad is from Ireland, and he's nervous whenever I fly in a plane. Darling, sweetheart, be careful over the plane. You don't Can't even understand him, you know. <laughs> my friends couldn't understand him either. When I was a little kid, my friends used to call and make fun of my father on the phone. He had no idea. He had no idea they were making fun of him. He'd call you, hello, host Carlin, please. And my friends would go, oh, he's after me, Lucky Charms. The frosted oats here was sweet surprise. <laughs> They 
they were making fun of him. <laughs> really, he didn't know he'd leave messages. Dear Rosie, Jackie called, said, manly, yes, but I like it too. <laughs> he had no idea. <laughs> yeah. Do you like this red coat? Somebody told me backstage it's Nancy Reagan red. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> Can't stand Nancy Reagan, personally. She looks like a human Pez dispenser. <laughs> Think about it. Pretty sure if you pull her head back, a Pez would pop right out of her neck. <laughs> Not really positive, just a theory I have. <laughs> So it's the 90s now. Can you believe it? It's the 90s. Scary things in the 90s. People scaring me. These anti-abortion people scare me. I don't think anybody should have control over my body besides me and Mel Gibson, but that's about it. You know what I mean? Me and Mel, pretty much. Can't handle it. <laughs> my lip is stuck. Has that ever happened to anyone? Really, I just got a Velcro crazy glue kind of a lip thing right there. What are you doing that happens? You go, my lip is stuck. Damn it, you know? I used to use Pam, the cooking spray. <laughs> Stuff really works. You spray it on your teeth, your lips lies for two or three minutes. People will come over to you and go, do you smell eggs? Just ignore them, you know. <laughs> it's your teeth, it's America. We ready to go. We got another very funny man coming up here. Oh, yes, we do. Yes, we do. I'm not kidding. He's funny and I know him. And uh, you've seen him on Showtime and comedy clubs all over the country. Originally from Detroit, Michigan, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Tom McGillen. <laughs> Thanks. I'm going to give that back to the hair club. Oh, hey, thanks a lot. I, I appreciate that. I'm a little waked out tonight. I was out partying last night with Australians. Yeah. These people drink trash cans full of beer and then start talking to me. Right, mate, I'm from down under. You know, one night I was at a frog and toad up the old road, pounded down the fittest wheel. I'm bounding him. Get the old eye shot there to build there. I saw a roo, a bounded, a skippy. Bounds across me front lawn into my made up hatch. Well, I snatches up me 12 gauge because I'm going to plant one right between his mince pies. I took a beat on the roo. I blew his friggin' head right off. The roo stood there me made up hatch. Shoved made us right down his golf wall. Be dazzling hell of an appetite, wouldn't you say, mate? <laughs> That was my date. <laughs> I attract these people, you know. I even got into acting school so I could become more suave with women, yeah. I got in the Robert Wagner School of Acting. I didn't become very suave, but I learned to deliver the great Robert Wagner heart-to-heart -heart lines like, beautiful, <laughs> terrific, <laughs> but no way, uh-uh. <laughs> Get another boy. Hey, Max, is that your cigar on the floor? Did Freeway have an accident? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, obviously, I'm duped by the media, huh? And to prove it to you tonight, I'm going to take us all on a trip to the movies. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for tonight's monster movie. Tonight, another monster movie milestone. The one, the only, the original Love Bunny of Godzilla. <laughs> Look out! Hey, look out! Oh, he's got Zura, and he's gonna trample the city again. Quick, I'll run over your right! Nikki! Where's Nikki? Nikki, at rest I found you. We gotta get out of the city. Godzilla is gonna trample the city again. Why? Why are they trying to kill Godzilla? He only traveled Tokyo four times this year. Who did they kill Godzilla? I would rather Godzilla. Nikki, you're not Godzilla. <laughs> you must be crazy. But Nikki, I'm powerless to do anything. We gotta go talk to Dr. Yomoto at the Science Patrol. But quickly, we must hurry! <laughs> oh, oh, Dr. Yomoto, at last we found you. You got to help us. Nikki's in Robert Gatera! <laughs> Child! <laughs> 
Is it true? <laughs> You're in a rob with God's rob? We're in very grave danger. <laughs> Key Duck, what's up? Oh. <laughs> oh. Recess. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I know what I'm doing here. I should I should just do my whole damn act as this guy, huh? Rod made up from down under. You know, one night's a fucking town up there, Rod. I'm banning him because the old law says it. Beautiful. Terrific. But no way. We're going to play Guess the Character. You ready? Here we go. <laughs> oh, come on, Wilbur. <laughs> oh, Joseph. Okay. You're a great crowd. Thank you very much. Long time again. Good night. We grew up with the show for the whole family, while everyone else watched some old guy in a suit trade bad jokes with a large family of Latvian acrobats. A troop of Taiwanese teacup jugglers and a shy mouse from Italy, we suffered waiting for the good part. Turn that down. It's giving me a headache. Now there's my generation. My generation, a half hour of just the good parts. Your favorite oldies, only on VH1. Hello, I'm Peter Noon, your host. Watch My Generation at this time. I want to hold your hand. Walt Disney Pictures invites you to join Mickey Mouse on a journey beyond your imagination. It's a magical, musical adventure, overflowing with fun and filled with wonderful friends and fantastic surprises. It's Mickey Mouse in the 50th anniversary of Fantasia. Now fully restored to its original brilliance and only at a theater near you. Walt Disney's classic, Fantasia, rated G. Special limited engagement starts tomorrow. The Flight of the Stork. A new album by the internationally acclaimed singer-composer, Sarah. isn't what it used to be now it's easy to come back to AT&T call 1-800-821-4400 now and we'll switch you for free they said save big over AT&T giving me the old hard sell so I switched but my bill comes where's my big savings I don't understand what's going on it's easy to understand about savings for the AT&T Reach Out America plan now our lowest prices can start at 5 p.m. I'm not asking for a lot here just someone to talk to I call up customer service I wait and wait finally they pick up and I get a recording. Yeah. For dependability and service you know you can count on, it's AT&T. They call this easy. I don't understand what's going on. What am I doing wrong here? You're not dealing with AT&T. Well, I am now. Call 1-800-821-4400 right now, and we'll switch you for free. Isn't it time you came back? From the Rolling Stones. I want to be your man. To the Rolling Stones. VH1, the greatest hits of music video. Why am I here? Here we all are. TV show happening. TV. I love TV. I really do. TV messed me up when I was a kid, though. Bewitched. <laughs> not the witchcraft, not the trickery. One year, they just changed Darren's. <laughs> For months, I was walking up to my father going, Daddy, <laughs> just checking. <laughs> There's stuff in my mind from TV stuck in there. I don't even know it's there. You lie for no apparent reason. I start thinking, honey comes big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not small. No, no, no. 
I go to the cookie aisle. I think, oh, I'm safe in the cookie aisle. Oh, you never would believe where those Keebler cookies come from. They're baked by little elves in a hollow tree. You know something in every row. It's really depressing. It messed me up. It messed me up. It really did. TV when I was a kid. It's stuck in my brain. I think that's the reason I can never do algebra. Remember algebra? Bus leaves Utah at 9 p.m. traveling 12 miles per hour. Another bus leaves Florida at 6 p.m. traveling 45 miles per hour. How many Jewish people on board? <laughs> Did that joke in Las Vegas? This lady in the front goes, Nan, I would never take a bus. <laughs> well, you guys are great. We have a very, very funny guy coming up. Uh, you've seen him on all the major comedy shows all over the country. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Willie Tyler and Lester. <laughs> Thank you very much and a pleasant good evening to everybody, right? Okay, now. Less, less. Would you say good evening to everybody? What you say? I, I said, would you say good evening to everybody? I, I can't hear you. Oh, wait, hold it. Say good evening to everybody! <laughs> What's the matter? Hey, Nan, if you ever lose your voice, you'll find it in my ear. <laughs> well, at least don't they need that on a freeway or something like that. I just want you to wave at everybody. Huh? Wave. Here, put your hand up like that and wave. What's wave? Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Hey, good evening. Pleasure to be here. Those of you who laughed in a thought, I'd like to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Those of you who didn't laugh in a thought, I'd like to wish you severe chest pains. <laughs> Get your hand off of me, man. Okay, now, what? I, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. What's the matter? What, what's your deal here? What do you mean? Well, am I going to make a right turn or something? Put the arm down. <laughs> Look, put the arm, take your hand off. Put the arm down there. Don't you understand what you're saying? Put the arm down. <laughs> How's that? That's better. Okay, I got a public service announcement, folks. Public service announcement? Yeah, the other they can love that somebody always use a generic name. Generic name? Yeah, like honey, sweetheart, darling, baby, sugar, hey you. <laughs> to whom that they concern? Can I to somebody and call them by the wrong name? Oh, Joyce! <laughs> you stop, she stops, the record player stops. Because the record player knows you're in trouble. <laughs> and if the record player had legs, it would lead the room because things are going to get a little ugly in there. So get your generic names out and help you out. Tell you, tell you what, speaking of rooms, yeah, you know, we didn't get any maid service at the hotel where we were staying last night. We didn't? No. I just found two clean towels laying on the floor inside the door. Well, see what happened when you left the room? Yeah. I got out the suitcase because I wanted to watch a little TV. Yeah. So I sat on the bed and I forgot to put the chain on the door. You forgot. I forgot to put the chain on, on the door. You forgot. Put the chain on the door. You forgot. I forgot. Okay. Anyway. anyway go ahead. Good finish. Yeah. And then the maid walked in. The maid walked in. Yeah. She looked at me. I looked at her. Yeah. I gave one of those deals on that movie, The Exorcist. Remember The Exorcist? I gave one of those deals. How did you do that? Huh? Can you, how did you do that? You can't do that? I can't do that. You, you mean you can't do that? I cannot do that. How did you do that? That's funny. What's funny about that? Most dummies can. <laughs> Get your hand off of me, man! Did I tell you you got a dog? You got a dog? Yeah. Never buy your dog a dog house. Never buy your dog a dog. The dog does not go in the dog house. He does not. I bought my dog a dog house. I was putting it in the backyard. And the dog was looking at me. You know how dogs look at you? He was checking me out. I could read his mind. I looked in his eyes and he said, Wow, you could have got me $50 worth of dog biscuits. <laughs> and you ever notice when your dog does this? Ruff, ruff, eh. Ruff, eh. Ruff, ruff, eh. I did a lot of research. Found out the reason why dogs do that is because they cannot say, I am choking. <laughs> but I'll tell you what I want you to do. I want you to do me a favor here. What do you want me to do, man? Now, I'm going to do, I'm gonna do something here. See, I'm going to give the folks this. See, watch me. I'm doing this, see? I'm doing that? Yeah. Now I want you to do a little rap thing. Do a little rap thing? You're gonna do a little rap. I'm doing a little rap thing. Yeah, you're gonna do a rap. I'm gonna do a little rap thing, y'all. Okay, don't worry about it. Now, you do your little rap thing, and at the end, when you finish your little rap thing, yeah. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. And I want you to hum at the same time. What do you mean? When I do this, watch. Watch them. Hum. 
home at the same time? No. <laughs> this I gotta see. Now come on, you can do it. Now here we go. Okay, no, you can do it. I, you can do it. Don't worry about it. Here we go. Well, I went to try out for a play. Didn't take long, just all day. To find no words for two to lose. Don't cut all of my garage is a basketball net. I really love to play even when it's wet. Now I'm the shortest one in the neighborhood. When it comes to slam dunking, they the young good. <laughs> when it comes to slam dunking, they the young good. When it comes to slam dunking, they the young good. Okay, get ready now. Ready? Go. Aren't you going to do it? I can't do that, man. No, just you can do it. Just try it. Here we go. Come on. You're not going to do it. I can't do it, man. I cannot do it. Okay, forget it. You came out here with the earphones, all right? That's right. Forget the whole thing. You're supposed to be my partner. I'll bring you out here and you embarrass me in front of all of these people. Put these things on. Forget the whole deal, okay? Forget it. Forget I wasn't even here. Go ahead. Forget it. Not what the alphabet really stands for when you watch VH1's Encyclopedia of Music Videos. <laughs> Weekdays from 5 to 7 p.m. Each hour it's a different letter and a totally different topic. Classic videos and the latest hits from the VH1 archives. To me, he is definitely for Encyclopedia. Only on VH1. From Joe Cocker to Joe Cocker. VH1, the greatest hits of music video.